Hello from Blowhard. I'm Ben Hadlock, Vice President and Blowhard Extraordinaire. In 2010, the BH20 entered the market as the first positive pressure ventilation fan powered with an integrated internal battery. Since then, other fan manufacturers have released their versions of PPV fans capable of running on batteries, and with those, a host of new marketing efforts. One common marketing focus has been on runtime, or how long a fan can run on high before the battery is completely discharged. So let's take a look at what's involved in runtime and what that might affect. When it comes to batteries and runtime, size matters. The bigger the battery, the higher the watt hour, the longer the runtime. Let's evaluate a battery driven fan with an 18 inch blade. Now we know that, in general, a fan with an 18 inch blade would require about 1,000 watts to generate 10,000 to 11,000 AMCA equivalent cubic feet per minute, or for those using the metric system, 17,000 to 18,500 AMCA equivalent meters cubed per hour. In order to produce this airflow with this fan for one hour, you would need a 1,000 watt hour battery. Drawing 1,000 watts with a 1,000 watt hour battery puts little stress on the battery given its size. This means you don't create excessive heat and your battery life cycle will remain close to what it should be per the battery industry. Recently, there's been interest in using the same batteries used in other portable tools. Currently, these commonly used hot swappable batteries are lithium ion 12 amp hour batteries capable of 240 watt hours. This is a little less than a quarter of the size of the 1000 watt hour battery. So that little guy would have to work four times as hard to get the same performance and would become exhausted very quickly, lasting only 11 to 13 minutes. Plus, running at four times its watt hour, it would become very hot, and excessive heat in this range would lead to rapid degradation of the battery. Since this would not be acceptable, some manufacturers are using two of these hot swappable batteries to power their 18 inch fans. Of course, they'll still have to work over twice as hard to match the performance of the 1000 watt hour battery, but this team of two would double the amount of time they could hang with the big boys to around 27 minutes. Working twice as hard will also generate heat, and while it won't be as hot as using only one of these batteries, it will still negatively impact the life cycle of the battery. So what can one do to maximize the cycle life of their battery? Don't overstress your battery. Using a 45 minute runtime with two 240 watt hour batteries would mean operating at around 720 watts. This should keep temperatures in a safe range and will not degrade your battery. But if you're using less power, you simply can't push as hard and your airflow will decrease, in this case to approximately 9500 cubic feet per minute or 16,000 meters cubed per hour. If you want a good runtime at a higher performance, you'll need a bigger battery, because when it comes to batteries, size matters. If you would like to learn more about all the ways size matters, check out more of our videos, or visit our website at www.blowhardfans.com.